Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Ask Leah. Tonight's question is from a leader who wants to know how they can get better at seeking feedback from their staff. Now, this question came about in response to an article in my weekly newsletter that went out a couple of weeks ago that included eight tips for leaders on how to better receive the feedback they get. And it prompted this leader to say, look, I would love to receive more feedback. How can I get better at asking for and seeking it? Particularly when there's a power dynamic, right? This person is the boss. They genuinely want feedback, but people in their team are perhaps a bit apprehensive or concerned about really providing honest feedback. And even though this leader is very, very approachable, that power dynamic does exist, which can make people a bit apprehensive. Am I going to get in trouble or will it be held against me if I speak up? Which really goes to the psychological safety of a team. Let's face it, even in good teams, when there is a hierarchy that can exist. So a few things here on how we can better seek feedback. And seeking feedback is what great leaders do. They don't just wait for feedback, they actively seek it. So what can you do? First off, consider what feedback do you actually want? You know, just saying, has anyone got any feedback? It's too broad, it's too vague, and people will be apprehensive about asking questions or sharing their thoughts. You know, do you really want my feedback? Do you want positive feedback only, areas of improvement? So think about what you're actually after as a leader. And then when you seek it from your team, explain the why. So if it's feedback on you as a leader, because you're really working on your self-awareness at the moment, be vulnerable and courageous enough to share that with your team. So you might say to your team, look, I'm focusing really hard at the moment on improving and developing my leadership. And in particular, I'm focused on my self-awareness. And clearly, I only know what I think I know about myself. So what I wanted to know from you is if there was one thing I could do to improve my leadership, uh, one thing that I could maybe adjust or tweak to improve my relationship with you, what would that be? Now, what I just did there was the third point. And that is ask open-ended questions, but with some direction. Don't make it as broad as any questions or any feedback and then be surprised when you don't get any. So again, those three steps. Number one, work out what feedback you actually want. What's going to be most valuable and helpful for you? Two, explain the why to your team so that they're assured that, you know, this isn't a trick. You genuinely want this feedback. And what purpose does it serve? Because if they understand there's a purpose and it might even benefit them providing this feedback, they're more likely to do it. And that third point, ask open-ended questions with direction. And just to finish off, also consider how they can provide that feedback. Some people don't want to speak up in a group in front of their colleagues. So sure, it might be in a group discussion, but it might also be in those one-on-one -on -one coaching conversations that I am so often encouraging leaders to do, or it might even be an opportunity for a written submission or an email because some people will be more comfortable with that. I hope that helps to the leader who asked the question. Thank you so much for sending that one in. I do love answering your questions. If you have a communication, leadership, emotional intelligence, self-management question you would like answered, send it through and I will do my best to answer it for you next week. Cheers.